Hey folks, I got this ebony from uh, Chris Q to make the first cut. And uh, actually, I also got this square. <laughs> Thank you very much, buddy. Um, Freaking use this already a lot. Uh, and I got this piece of ebony. Um, my only piece of ebony. I get to experience it because he shared a little piece that he got. I squared a line across to cut. And that's I'm gonna splice that right down the center of that line. And that's gonna give me my two halves to my two pieces. So, cigar bend. Stay tuned. I'll show you how we make it. The kerf thickness matters. So this is a thin blade, and compared to a table saw or anything, so I'm just gonna push it through just like that. <laughs> Okay, so now that we've got it cut, let's go ahead and we need a 10 millimeter drill bit. I like to use a nice brad point tip, the hard, hard woods, the dense woods. We're going to want to drill slow because we don't want to expand the wood inside by clogging this line up here with extra wood and, and it pushes out and cracks the wood. We only get one shot there. I think I'm in pretty good center here. Oh, it cuts nice. Look at those shavings. Almost feels like plastic, but it's dirty. I'm just going to open up this little bag here and dump out the contents. So here's our two pieces. We have one that's uh, a little bit smaller than the other. Okay, so you want to make sure they fit through. Um, if they do get tight on either side, then you want to go ahead and drill them out a little bit more and just make, keep going until they fit nice. Because if they don't slide, like see that it's got some stick to it, but it's easy to get out. That's what you want. Because you want a little bit of space in there, because when you put the glue, it's going to expand a little bit and tight. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is scratch up these brass tubes. When they oxidize, um, it just makes it so the, the actual glue doesn't adhere as good. Um, so we're just going to score it with 220. Liven it back up. We're going to apply some glue. How I apply it is first of all, you know, make sure you get the right tube for the right spot. I'm going to go ahead and run it on the inside of here. And we're going to run it all on the tube. I'm going to spin the tube in there. I'm going to put it in nice and even. Let that sit. And we'll do the next one here. So now you, we'll use this mill. It's got blades on the top here and these replaceable tubes so I can put different types of sizes in here. And what that does is it matches the tube diameter. And I can then it allows me to square up the piece to the tube. We're going to line the mandrel up with the tailstock. So we're going to loosen that a little bit and line it right up. And then we'll tighten it down. So for the bushings, I'll like, go ahead and read the instructions and it tells me exactly which order to put them in. And because I know the order, because they're going to tell me the order, uh, I'm going to set these in an order and I'm putting them from largest to smallest in height. The first one calls for lower barrel, the long tube. Use the smallest bushing and the second largest. So I'm going to go ahead and put the smallest and second largest. And then I'm going to put it on the tube, on the mandrel. The upper barrel will use, or the short tube, will use the largest bushing, which is here, and the second smallest bushing, which is here. And we'll put that on the mandrel. And I grab my washer and my nut. Balance things out as much as I can, just for spin. I'll go ahead and tighten those on.
so now we're on 220. Now we'll go up to 400. Just a quick cross sand. And now we pull out the premium stuff. You're looking at some Yorkshire grit. Just gonna apply it on, just smother it, nice and thick on. Work it all in. Will you just look at that? Look at it. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and uh, take her off. We're all good. Okay, so this decorative ring, ring right here on the nib adapter, uh, you want to make sure that the taper is going down so it's smooth to the top. And then we're going to screw it together here with the nib. So now we have the bottom barrel, which is the long one, and on the small end of it, we're going to put our nib assembly in. I can back this off, and then I'll bring it in. This gives enough even pressure that I like using it, and it doesn't, I just find it a good, it just works. So that's why I've never bought one of those jigs, or made one. So there's that, that's pressed in there. So the twist holder is this guy, and we're gonna press it into this end of the tube. So we're gonna make ourselves some room. Gonna make sure we're closing on it straight. And then we press it together and there's our next piece. Okay, so now we'll take the refill and we'll make sure the spring is on it. And with that, we'll put the refill into here, like so. So now we'll take the twist mechanism and we'll screw that into here. You can see the pen if it works or not. So there it is. So now we're going to take the shortest tube, we're going to press it into the biggest end. Okay, so there that is. So what we're trying to do is just get the shoulder pressed in. Just like that. So now we can take that, put that together. And we can see our pen works now. And then we can screw the top part together and the pen is done. Cool. I have an ebony pen. Thanks so much, Chris. That's so cool. Huh.